Hi everyone, welcome to this uh, interview where we have Dr. Ishita with us. Dr. Ishita has got a rank of 24, All India rank 24 in NEED Super Speciality 2022 Pediatric Park. She has got a stupendous score of 418 out of 600, which is almost 70%. So we welcome Dr. Ishita to this interview. Hi Dr. Ishita, congratulations. Hi sir, thank you uh, for welcoming me. Uh, it is an honor to talk to you. Uh, I am not used to such ranks, sir. My previous ranks have, like I told you, been just four-digit numbers, more like OTP numbers, where I have to see even the order of the number is correct or not. So this is a little unprecedented for me. And uh, moreover, I'm just happy to be through everything in first go. So 12th MBBS PG and now SS. I know that a new struggle is going to start now, but at least this is past for now. Two things, Ishita. First thing, it's not important where you start. What's important is where you end. Your graph should be always like this. You start from here and end here. And this is what you have done. So that is really good. And second thing is, um, I, I think you're done with the exams, right? So you are finishing off. They say, you, know, you should retire from uh, the sports or whatever place when you are at your peak. So you are retiring. You are leaving this exam system at your peak. Obviously, it's a new struggle. It's a new field you'll be entering. So uh, please tell me about your background so students can you know relate a bit. Yes. Uh, so I'm from Indore. I've been born and brought up in Indore. So I'm a very proud Poha and I'm keen eating Indori. Yes. I, did my, <laughs> I did my MBBS from KMC Manipal, sir. Uh, Dr. Pushpa Kini, who was the HOD Department of Pediatrics, unknowingly sealed my fate forever when she took our very first practical class in which she blew my mind with the great passion that she talked about this field. I had goosebumps. And uh, naturally, it became the subject which I read the most and uh, went on to get a gold medal in it also. With internship, I wrote my NEET PG exam, sir. I got a rank of 3,700 in it. But thankfully, uh, God willing, the seats had increased that year. So I was able to bag a seat in uh, MJ Medical College in Dor. So that is where I did my PG from, sir. Great, great. And so I've been to Indore a lot of times for uh, PG and yes, it's a city of uh, Poha and Jalebi. I, I think the best Poha and Jalebi combination you can get is in Indore only. And uh, yeah. other than that, uh, Dr. Ishita, what about the academic part? Like when did you start preparing seriously? When did you decide, okay, now I should get serious and start preparing for the TM uh, entrance exam? Yes, sir. So I always knew that I want to pursue super speciality. That was something which my father instilled in me since the very beginning, even during my PG days. So I always had that at the back of my mind. But during the residency, I didn't per se study for DM entrance. I only started it in the last three months, mm -hmm. very seriously during my uh, MD exam break. So that one month which we get before exams, everybody was um, busy solving the last year questions for MD and I was very scared that I'm not doing that. But my focus was the super speciality exam which was going to happen. So okay. that is when I started, sir. Okay, nice. And what were the resources you used? What textbooks did you refer to? Uh, you joined Prep Ladder also. So uh, other than that, what were uh, the other things you went to? Like, did you have time for uh, so many resources or you stuck to just two, three resources only? Like, what was your approach? Dr. Ishita, just tell me, uh, like, what happened uh, to your preparation when you started preparing? Like, um, what were the areas you decided to focus upon? And what were the resources you used for your preparation? Like, it was only Nelson-based. You definitely joined Prep Ladder Super Speciality also. Uh, any other resources which you used? Like, how did you time your, your preparation and what all uh, so-called weapons you used in this preparation? Yes, sir. So uh, apart from Nelson, I used Cloherty for neonatology and AIMS and ICU protocol was always helpful during my PG days. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, I read Parks and sir, Prep Ladder I used extensively. I only came to know about Prep Ladder during the second half of my third year and um, I started using it uh, properly since past three months, like I said. So your videos have been, have led the way throughout, sir, because Nelson can be a very formidable book and it can be very tough to go through certain areas, especially the chapter where they talk about seizures, the gastroenterology part, the IBD part, which you've covered so com comprehensively in that one hour video. So whenever I had a problem or a hitch, I would just start your video and sit with my Nelson and start reading. So that is how it helped me. And question bank, I used prep ladder question bank. That is all the sources that I had. 
Nice. And other than that, uh, did you give mock exams also? Did you do MCQ practice also? What's the importance of that? Uh, sir, MCQ in practice, this, the importance of MCQs cannot be um, emphasized enough because we have a tendency of understanding the concepts and moving ahead, thinking ki ha ye apan rat lenge baad mein, but that baad mein never comes, especially for me. It was only when I started solving the MCQs during the last one month that I realized that I think I know this subject, but when it comes to MCQs, I'm performing very poorly. There were instances when the prep ladder would send a notification saying, poor performance, you need brushing up or things like that. And that really helped me because it was a wake up call for me. So MCQs are very important. And um, yes, that is the only way that we can crack this exam. Very nice. And uh, what, how many attempts have you taken? This is your first attempt, right? Yes, sir. This is my first attempt. Nice, nice. And uh, what about the exam itself? A lot of students have said it was a very tough exam. Like it gave them jitters in the actual exam also. So did you also feel the same? Yes, sir. I felt the same. It was a very lengthy exam, importantly. Um, so I clearly remember that when I reached 102nd question, my I had reached a point of mental fatigue and my mind said, ye B hoga aage chalo. Thankfully, I recognized it and snapped myself to reality that this is my yes, minute hai moment and I cannot do this. So I took a break, sir. I raised all the past five questions because I realized that must have been a time of mental fatigue. I splashed some water on my face and I restarted from question number 97. And I saw that I lost nine, seven minutes in this exercise. But uh, in hindsight, I think it saved me a lot of negatives. So my advice will be that prepare yourself to concentrate for a prolonged period of time. And that will happen only if you're very calm during the exam, which is easier said than done. But this requires you to look at the 150th question with the same concentration at the, as the first question. So uh, that I think we have to keep in mind. Apart from that, the questions were very analytical, especially the first 50 set of questions were the most difficult. So when I started the exam, I thought, but slowly, slowly, as I moved ahead, my confidence also gathered. So if you start the exam and you feel that you're not able to answer first four or five questions, it is okay. There are 150 questions ahead. So tell yourself that, no, I have this 150 minutes and I think I can make the most of it. It's like, you know, you're playing uh, cricket and you know that you have some big hitters coming down the order and your wickets in hand, you can always catch up. So uh, Dr. Ishita, um, like, if you have to sit again in the exam, I know you are not going to, but if you have to sit in, uh, again in the exam, what all things you will do, which you have not done before, like uh, what all advice you would give to people who are preparing again, that this all should be done, this all should be avoided, like something which comes to your mind. Uh, so one thing which comes to my mind is um, note making is extremely important because none of those concepts will help you if you have not revised them and you cannot revise them if you have not made notes. So right from the very beginning, uh, even with your first reading, try to make notes and try to keep them as short as possible because it so happened with me that when I was making notes for neuro, I filled up an entire notebook and I was not able to revise it even for my MD exam. Mm. So for this I sat again and made those notes again. So keep make notes and keep those notes precise and revise as many times as you can. Very excellent advice given by Dr. Ishita that make your own notes and revise them multiple number of times and don't create another Nelson uh, from the nose. So understand the point and take out what whatever you feel uh, and just add them the key points to the notes so, so that you get a you know a easy way to revise in the last few days. Uh, so, Dr. Ishita, what are you planning to take up now? Decided uh, or undecided yet? Sir, I'm actually very confused. I always dreamt of pediatric cardiology, but now that I'm studying more and asking more people about the possibilities, I realize that I have very half-baked ideas about what the specialities are. And there are a lot of bonds also which I have to consider. So, I'm not sure, sir. I'm still trying to talk to people and figure out the way. But neonatology, oncology both excite me. Just the opportunity that I can do super speciality, I will take any branch that I can get and give it my best. That is what I think right now, sir. That's the spirit. Uh, I think uh, you've done uh, half the dirty work has already been done. You have the rank now. So it's a good exercise for you to do. Talk to people, talk to seniors and you decide in whatever you join. You know? In the end, uh, whom would you like to dedicate this success to? Any shout outs, any special people you want to dedicate this success? 
Uh, yes, sir. I would like to thank my family first and foremost because everything I do, I do for my parents. The very desire of becoming a doctor stems from my father, and I have seen him toil every day. So that is what I always wanted to become. So everything I do in this profession is for him. My mother is my biggest confidant. She is the person I do my loud thinking in front of. So I cannot undermine her at all. my brother who is very different from the rest of us so his views are very liberating and his affection is irrespective of all of these accolades he never asked me if i'm going to write the dm exam so i would like to thank him for that support and i have to mention uh, devansh goyal who is my best friend and has seen me through the three toughest exams of my life that is neat ug neat pg and now neat ss and the various temperamental fluctuations that came along with it but championed me throughout with remarkable patience and the most intelligent insights so i would not have been able to done do anything uh, without these people they were my pillars of support so i thank them and i thank you sir because i cannot it is very difficult for me to put into words how much you helped during the preparation because you're very alone at that time just looking at your videos again and again there are um, the topic of rickets the topic of renal tubular acidosis and some topics of congenital heart diseases and the seizures topic sir which you made that one hour video i think i've seen them four or five times so even while revising when i would feel alone or when i would feel that i cannot sit and revise i would just start your videos and keep walking and preplader has this very wonderful um, feature in which they allow us to see the slides so you would write notes in such a comprehensive manner that they would get imprinted on our brain so rather than my notes i would prefer those slides so even if the video is for an hour the slides would be just 20 or 16 slides so if you read if you've seen the video once your mind thinks okay in 16 minutes i can revise these slides because one minute is enough for one slide so it is really helpful sir uh, without this app it was not possible in the first attempt see uh, that is very kind of you to uh, attribute it to us but end of the day it's all your preparation we can only guide you you know end of the day it's all your hard work and obviously your family support and blessings of the god everything you know fits together to uh, complete the jigsaw puzzle that we are all struggling with but i think uh, you have give, also suggested a nice thing for me also it's food for thought for future videos i should keep my and writing keep more clean so they had the slides which are there they make a better visual impression but um, it is uh, so it has been lovely talking to dr ishita she has been a big inspiration for all the students here and uh, we do hope that on behalf of the entire preplader super speciality team i again congratulate you your family and we hope that you reach the pinnacles of success and god bless you stay thank happy. you so much